Hi friends, welcome to Mama's YouTube channel. Today's book reading is going to be Inside This Tent. Why are we inside this tent? Well, it's because it makes it a little bit darker in here, and then I can use my flashlight for this book that we're gonna be reading. It's called The Human Body, and it's a shine a light book. And that means that we're gonna be using our flashlight to make certain pictures show up. And it's a lot of fun to do. If you do it with your parent, then you might wanna go into a dark room or wait until nighttime, and then you can use the flashlight while they read, and it's just a really fun interactive experience. And while I know this is Halloween month, and I've been trying to stick to Halloween stories, I thought that this was kind of in uh, keeping with the theme because it's all about showing inside the human body, which I know can be a little bit spooky sometimes or a little bit creepy. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this book. It is written by Karen Brown and Rachel Saunders. A human body has many parts that work together to help a person live and grow. If you look closely at people eating, moving, breathing, talking, and playing, you will see their bodies working. Shine a flashlight behind the page or hold it up to the light to see inside the human body. Discover a hidden world of great surprises. A new person is waiting to be born. Can you see her? Okay, now this is where we take our light and then I'm gonna put it behind the page here and look, you can see what's inside her belly. It's a baby. Ah, here she is. The baby is growing in her mother's belly. She stays there for nine months until she is ready to be born. A child slowly grows bigger until he or she becomes an adult. Do you know what is growing inside these children's bodies underneath their skin? Hmm, wonder what it could be. Let's see. Whoa, you see that? It looked like skeletons. Stretch bones. More than 200 of them are joined together in a frame called a skeleton, which helps the body stay strong as it gets bigger. This girl has run very fast to catch up with the ball. What makes her body move? Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Let's find out. Can you see that? Let's see what it could be. The muscles that are joined to her skeleton pull on her bones to make her body move. Go! Skin covers and protects the body. On our fingertips, the skin forms special patterns. Can you see them on this girl's hand? Let's check it out. Wow, do you see that? See the little special patterns? Swirls and whirls cover the fingertips. These skin patterns are called fingerprints. Every person's fingerprints are different. Wiggle! Air comes into the body through the nose and the mouth. Where does it go next? Hmm, let's find out. Oh, wow, do you see that? It looks like her lungs. Let's find out. The air is sucked into the lungs. The oxygen in the air keeps the body alive. Whoosh. Air travels all through the body. It is carried by the blood. How does the blood move through the body? Hmm, let's find out. What do you think? 
Wow. Look at everything that's inside our body that carries the blood. Whoa. Boom, boom. Heart. The heart pumps the blood around the body. It beats boom, boom with each pump. Purr. This cat's fur feels soft. The boy knows this because sensors in his skin send messages to his brain about what he is touching. Where is his brain? Hmm, where is it? What do you think? Wow, can you see all that? There it is, do you see his brain? In his head, the messages whiz to the brain along the nerves in the boy's arm. See, there's the nerves and there's the brain. The brain figures out the messages and tells the body what to do next. The body has five senses that tell it about the world. These are sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. Which senses is this boy using? Hmm, what do you think? He's eating some ice cream. What do you think he's using? Let's find out. Oh, okay. It looks like he's using his sense of taste. Let's see if we're right. Yum. He is using smell and taste. His nose smells the ice cream and his tongue tastes it. The busy human body needs energy to stay active. We get this energy from food. What happens to food after it's been swallowed? Hmm, what do you think happens? Let's see if you're right. Okay, so let's get a good look here. We see it going down his body and then into his stomach and intestines. You see that? Okay, let's get some more information. The food travels down a tube to the stomach. Then it squeezes through a longer winding tube called the intestines. See, here's the stomach and here's the intestines. The body uses the food for energy. Any food that can't be used leaves the body as poop. Eating lots of healthy foods helps the body to stay well. What's inside this basket? What do you think's in there? Hmm, that's a good guess. Let's see if you're right. Can you see that? Oh, it looks like we've got an apple, pear, some onions, a carrot, cheese, fish, and bread. Okay, let's find out some more information vegetables, fruit, fish, cheese, and bread. These foods each have different nutrients that keep the body healthy. Munch, crunch. Drinking plenty of water helps to keep the body healthy, but the body must get rid of the water it doesn't need. How does this happen? Hmm, that's a good question. What do you think? Okay, let's see if you're right. Okay, can you see? See inside her body? What is that? Let's find out. Splish, splash. Two kidneys in the body collect the unwanted water and turn it into pee. The pee flows down tubes into an expandable sac called the bladder. See, here's the kidneys and here's the bladder. When the bladder is full, the pee is ready to leave the body. Open wide. Food can stick to teeth and damage them, so they need to be brushed clean. A dentist is checking this boy's teeth. Do you know what is going to fill in the gap? Hmm, what do you think? Have you been to a dentist before? Maybe you know then. Let's see. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at all his teeth. 
There's two rows of teeth. Let's find out more information. A new tooth. First teeth are called baby teeth. As the body grows, each baby tooth is pushed out by a larger adult tooth. There are 20 baby teeth and 32 adult teeth. Wow, that's a lot of teeth. If harmful germs get inside the body, they can make us ill. The body can fight off most germs by itself, but sometimes a doctor's help is needed. This doctor is holding a thermometer. What will it show? Hmm, what do you think? That's a good guess, let's find out. Can you see that? It might be a little hard to see, but I see some numbers. Okay, let's take a look. The thermometer shows the body's temperature. A number higher than 99 tells the doctor that the body is fighting hard to get rid of the germs and might need some medicine. This girl is at the hospital. She has fallen down and hurt her arm. The doctor used an x-ray machine to take a picture of her arm bones. Can you see the x-ray? Let's take a look. Oh, wow. That's so cool. We can see inside her arm. Ouch. One bone is broken. Oh, can you see it there? Right there, there's a little crack. The doctor will put a hard cast around the arm. This will keep it still until the broken bone has mended. Bodies need rest. When we are sleeping, it might seem like not much is happening, but the body is still quite busy. What is going on inside this boy's brain? Hmm, what do you think? Let's see. Oh, look at that. He must be dreaming about his cat. Dreams. Dreams happen when the brain puts together all kinds of different thoughts. The human body is so amazing that it can even make a new brother or sister for you. There's more. The body has lots of different jobs to do. Read more about some of the parts of the body that are in this book. Skeleton. The skeleton is a frame of connected bones that shapes a body. Joints such as ankles, elbows, and hips are where bones join together and allow the body to bend. Muscles. Flexible muscles help a person move. Most muscles are attached to the skeleton and work in pairs to move it. Muscles pull on bones to make them move. Blood. Blood is a liquid made up of tiny cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen while white blood cells kill germs. Lungs. Air containing a gas called oxygen is breathed in and fills the lungs, which inflate like balloons. Blood flowing through the lungs collects the oxygen. As waste gases are breathed out, the lungs deflate and get smaller. Heart. The heart is a muscle that beats nonstop to pump blood through the body. Blood flows through tubes called arteries and veins brain. The brain is where thoughts and feelings come from. It controls the muscles as well as some actions such as breathing and heartbeat, which takes place without us even having to think about them. Stomach. The stomach is a stretchy bag-like body part that food goes into after it is swallowed. Muscles in the stomach move to break down the food and turn it into mush. Germs. Germs are tiny bacteria and viruses that can make us ill. Sometimes medicine is needed to help the body fight the germs. Book all done. Wow, that was such a cool book. How unique, wasn't it? Have you ever read a book like that? I learned so much. I hope that you did too. What was your favorite part? 
Oh, cool. I'm so glad that you enjoyed that part. Me too. Uh, my favorite part was probably getting to see the baby. I really enjoyed seeing the baby inside the mommy's belly in the beginning. That was so sweet and really cool because that's something you don't normally get to see, right? Well, I hope that you enjoyed this book. There are lots more in this series of Shine the Light books, and I'm going to get more in the future to read. But in the meantime, let's get back to Halloween, shall we? I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye. Hi, parents. If your little one loves my videos, then please be sure to click the big red subscribe button so you can be notified when I have a brand new video. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.